Former President Donald Trump could face more legal drama, and the EPA is cracking down on coal plants. I'm Jeff Pierre, and this is The 7 from The Washington Post. It's Thursday, April 6th. Let's get you caught up with today's 7 stories. First up, former President Donald Trump suffered another legal blow yesterday. Mike Pence, that's Trump's former vice president, said that he won't appeal a ruling that requires him to testify before a grand jury. This is part of the investigation into the 2021 Capitol attack. Pence's decision means that he probably will testify under oath and could become a key witness. This adds to the legal drama Trump is facing. He was charged on 34 counts of falsifying business records in New York. It'll be months before he's back in court on those. And there could be charges announced in a Georgia case within weeks. That investigation is related to Trump's effort to overturn the state's 2020 election results. And it's important to remember, all of this is happening while Trump is trying to run for president again. Number two, at least four people were killed in the latest outbreak of severe storms. Tornadoes tore through Missouri, Iowa, and Illinois Tuesday night into yesterday morning. The most destructive one touched down at around 4 a.m. yesterday in Glen Allen, Missouri. That's a village about 100 miles south of St. Louis. Glen Allen resident Bobby Masters described what he experienced when the tornado hit his home. I really didn't know what it sounded like, but I heard it sound like a freight train. That's exactly what it sounded like. And uh, there was stu- stuff hitting the house. My son come flying down the hallway. We got our grandkids. They were screaming. We got everybody down in the lower bathroom. And uh, stuff was just hitting the house. And I didn't know if we were going to lose the house or not. It was, it was a horrible experience. Uh, we were all scared. Looking ahead, the threat of severe weather is clearing out, at least for now. A few more thunderstorms are possible today in the mid-Atlantic. But the tornado risk is low. Number three, a new report detailed decades of sex abuse in the Baltimore Catholic Church. The report came from the Maryland Attorney General's office yesterday. It found that more than 600 young people suffered abuse by more than 150 clergy members between the 1940s and 2002. None of the alleged abusers named in the report are still serving, and many are dead. But the report has galvanized support for a state bill to make it easier to sue over past abuse. Number four, the EPA is cracking down even more on coal plants. Yesterday, the agency proposed new limits on mercury and other toxic air pollutants released from power plants. This is the strictest update since 2012. It's part of the Biden administration's overall strategy to clean up pollution in poor and minority communities, as well as push the power industry towards cleaner fuels. Utilities often find that the cheapest way to comply with stricter standards is to move to cleaner energy sources. So these standards, along with others, could push the U.S. more quickly away from coal and closer to its climate goals. Number five, ice in Greenland and Antarctica could melt faster than expected. This is based on new research about the last ice age. The study found that an ancient ice sheet retreated at least 2,000 feet per day. That's more than the length of the Empire State Building and the fastest rate ever measured. The finding is making scientists rethink how quickly we can expect ice to melt and catastrophically raise sea levels in today's warming world. The Masters Golf Tournament starts this morning. That's story number six. The world's best players will be there, including defending champion Scotty Scheffler and the legend Tiger Woods. The tournament is being held at Augusta National in Georgia through Sunday. Woods tees off today at 10.18 a.m. You can stream the tournament at Masters.com. And if you're watching on TV, coverage will be on ESPN today and tomorrow. And number seven, exercising makes your brain work better. A landmark study last month made the strongest case for this yet. Researchers analyzed the lives, DNA, and cognition of almost 350,000 people. And the evidence firmly establishes that exercise does indeed sharpen your mind. 
The why behind this is more of an open question, but another new study showed that just six minutes of strenuous exercise quintupled production of a chemical in people's bodies that's called miracle Grow for the brain. You're all caught up for today, but one more thing. Did you know that you can listen to the show through your Amazon smart speaker? Just say, hey, smart speaker, play the seven. Just use the speaker's name. You know what it is. Try it out. I'm Jeff Pierre, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow.